In this video, we will show you how to set up your email notification settings in SkewGrid. Once logged into SkewGrid, click on settings, then click on notification. The first option here is email for notifications. Enter your email address that you would like to receive email notifications at. If you would like notifications to go to more than one email address, separate them with a semicolon and a space. The next option is maximum items to include in an email. Here, you will enter a number. This would be the maximum amount of items that SkewGrid would be allowed to notify you about in one email. Next, you have send notifications if available. This is how often you would like SkewGrid to send you notifications via email. Please do not use the almost real time setting as it is not always reliable. At a minimum, you can choose every hour. You can choose anywhere from every hour to every day, which would be once every 24 hours to never. Make the best selection for you. Next, move on to group emails by type. If set to no, then your emails will be grouped by type of supplier change. Example, stock changes will be in one email whereas price increases and decreases will be in a different email. If you prefer it the other way around, select yes. Next, we have notifications on stock change. Select yes if you want to be notified when your supplier has gone out of stock and back in or no if you do not want to receive these kinds of notifications. The following two options are your thresholds for price change notifications. By how much should the price decrease before notification is sent? Enter a dollar amount here. Basically, if the supplier's price drops by X amount of dollars, at what point do you want to be notified? Keeping in mind, setting it high will lead to few notifications and setting it at a really low number or decimal will lead to many. Example, if you enter five here, that is telling SkewGrid not to send you any notifications until the supplier's price drops by $5 or more. If the supplier price drop by anything up to $4.99, you will not receive a notification. On the other hand, if you want to be notified about all price changes, then enter 0.01. You will be notified for every decrease of one penny or more. If you never want to receive price drop notifications, enter five nines here. Since there will likely never be a price drop that large, you will not receive notifications if the supplier price drops. By how much should the price increase before notification is sent? This works the same way that it does for decreases. Enter the amount you want to use here. The price increase would have to be at least that much before an email notification is triggered. Next, there's an option to get emails if credits are running low. Set this to yes if you like to know when you're running low on credits or select no if you do not wish to receive that type of notification. Finally, the group by marketplace setting is more for people selling on more than one platform. Example, sellers selling on both eBay US and UK or both eBay and Amazon. If you set this option to yes, then notifications will be separated by the marketplace that you are selling on. If you set this to no, they will not. When you have finished configuring your notification settings, click the Save Settings button below. A few important notes. Please see the disclaimer above your notification settings that states, do not solely rely on email notifications. There is a good reason for that. As emails pass from many servers on the web once they leave SkewGrid servers, it could be stopped or blocked anywhere along the way. For that reason, it would be impossible to determine why you did not receive a notification or all notifications, as the message could be interrupted many times before it reaches your inbox. They may also end up in your spam or junk mail folder or filtered out by your email service provider as well. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.